cyberpunks and retro nerds welcome back to another edition of neon trash i'm your host tommy the hammer tonight it is east meets west night porno edition oh yeah doing a double feature with my boys here i brought a movie called nun's diary confession aka wet and rope it's a 1978 nun exploitation <laughs> film from japan oh boy um Outside of that, I don't know anything about it, but I've watched more than enough Japanese pink films to know that it's uh, interesting. So, we'll see what happens. It's going to be weird, to say the very least. Right after that, we're going to be diving into the old uh, porno movie, Miss Magnificent. This is a sci-fi fantasy porno from back in the day, and I'm sure we're going to see a lot of Harry Bush. <laughs> wow, so we got two older school... Yeah. Pornos here, so yeah, th this is gonna be wild. Like, I've not actually done much in the way of like foreign porno. Most of what I've seen is domestic, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm weirdly curious about this one, sure. and and this one looks like it, it's it's right in that same wheelhouse of just weird '70s '80s weirdo sleaze porn. We're gonna kick it off with this flick right here. Hopefully, I can dig up a trailer or a scene or I don't know some. You'll peep something, folks. Yeah. watching Nun's Diary uh, Confession, and I think we're all in agreement here that this is one strange motherfucking porno. Um, it opens up with a lot of rape, and kind of rides the old rape train throughout the entire movie, but there's a interesting story at its central core. I don't know if it makes a lot of sense necessarily, but... I think I followed it decently enough for the yeah. most part. Yeah, it wasn't like complex, it was just like, what's happening? Like, <laughs> why is it happening? But that's the interesting part about this movie is the, the characters in it, you, I don't know, you care about them, you want to see where it goes. Like the whole time I was like, where is this going? And arguably it culminates into one of the weirdest fucking scenes I've ever seen in a softcore porno. Um, so I had seen one non-exploitation film before this, and it was bonkers, but like, not in this way. This was much more <laughs> artful and like, uh, I guess thoughtful yeah. than, I, than I anticipated for it to be. I mean, even the back and everything, it kind of, it's marketing itself as raunchy. Yeah. And it is raunchy, oh, but yeah. there's like a fascinating story you know, that's in this, and it, the shocks and weird stuff, they all just complement each other. I think this is my, I think this is my first nunsploitation, alright, so this popped my nunsploitation cherry, <laughs> and uh, it's never, it's never healing again, I don't think, like, right. this just completely destroyed it, like, I'm good on nunsploitation for the rest of my life, <laughs> like, if you just want to watch one and be done, this is it right here. Like, One none to be done. Like, like seriously, like, <laughs> oh, it, it really, like, I thought it was going to end, like, three different times. <laughs> I'm like, okay, this has got to be the scene. Oh, God, no, it's going on again. Like, yeah, yeah. And then it would be like, oh, shit, this has got to be the scene. And then, no, uh, you get one last little, like, what? I got... <laughs> It's got a strong European vibe, so if you like Fulci, you like Argento, you like that kind of uh, late 70s uh, synth-driven exploitation, then I think this is a pretty good movie. I'm actually going to be giving this a strong uh, star count. I'm going 8 out of 10. If you told us like from where we started <laughs> that we would get to where we got, I would never believe you. Um, this movie had a lot of actual like surprises in it, both scary and... like. Interesting. <laughs> I, I don't know. It was just, it was totally bonkers. So I, I'm honestly, I'm going eight out of ten. Yeah. Damn. Uh, boy, Rocket. Boy. Rocket um, tolls. Yeah, I guess I gotta give this a star count. Okay. Uh -huh. Um. Uh -huh. I mean, 
I was thinking at least an eight, maybe even eight and a half. Oh honestly. my like, goodness! This, this I, I was I was really surprisingly impressed yeah. with things, the technical side of things, and I mean honestly, I mean for what was happening, like the acting, I think was pretty good. Like yeah. yeah. This is a double feature, so we're going to be moving right on to film number two with Miss Magnificent. way out. Is that what you want? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna jump. What's your name? Charles. Charles Brody. But why, Charles? I can't handle it anymore. The pressure. The guys I have to deal with. What kind of work are you in, Charles? I'm in the film business. A producer. Oh, I know you're clever. Don't try to stop me. The lying, the cheating, the stealing. That's what I can't take anymore. Dealing with those people. I just can't take it anymore. All you need is a reason to keep living. You think I haven't tried? I haven't searched for something, anything? There's just nothing left. Maybe I can give you something. I don't know. I don't know what to say or think anymore. Just say what's on your mind. You've got a great set of tits. All right, so we got done watching the sweaty, stinky, hairy, disgusting porno, Mrs. Magnificent. Ms. 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 Magnificent. Um, so I bought this movie because I am a big fan of Superman. I like Supergirl. I like DC Comics. Of course, I'm gonna buy this superhero-themed porno. Sure. Um, so when it began, I was kind of on board with it. I liked the fact that they had really bad special effects. It's cool that the costume had to be censored itself. I mean, that's just magnificent that that actually happened. They literally had to you know, scratch out her logo throughout the entire movie and it was fucking preposterous. Um, so yeah, I was on board until about 20 minutes in the movie because you are, I mean, this is a porno, so it should be expected. You're gonna be bombarded by scene after scene of sweaty, hairy balls, sweaty, hairy pussy. Everything you could expect in a 1970s porn is on full fat display here and it goes on for a little bit uh, too long. This was a lot. It was a lot. Um, I didn't really have any expectations. I figured it would be gross. Um, and it was. <laughs> and it delivered that in space. Yeah, lots of just asshole and taint shots. Just big butthole bushes. A lot of stuff. Just, Not a hair was shaved. And listen, if, if you don't if you don't like shaving, that's fine. You do you. But like, I just I didn't need to see it for so long in this movie. You know, it was a lot. I mean, I really got nothing else to add to this. This was terrible. This was hairy. You know, the music was the only thing keeping me going whatsoever. Yeah. Just because, I mean, sometimes it was like, you know, so bad it's good, kind of cheesy. And other times, like, there was actually, like, some rockiness going on. Like, they almost had something going with it. But, oh, man. Yeah. This was every bit as bad as I thought it would be. Like, <laughs> superhero exploitation. I'm going low. Uh, I'm actually going to give this a three. Yeah, I'm going to give it a two. 
soundtrack, one star. <laughs> wow, three, two, one, contact. Yeah, so that is our double feature of Panography, East meets West, and definitely one was better than the other. <laughs> I, I hope we've been informative, motherfuckers. Thanks for sticking with us. Until the next time, tune in to Neon, Neon Motherfucking Trash. Trash. Yeah, we did it.